welcome back to the channel. Angel Pitts are here. Another vlog. Freaking heat wave today. Holy frig. It's really bad. Uh, yeah. Today I uh, thought the topic I would talk about would be uh, um, Scotiabank. They actually frig. They, they did the overdraft thing to me again, but they actually freaking took responsibility and fixed it. I know. <laughs> Shocking. Never thought I'd see that for gonna happen. <clears throat> They've never did that. They always uh, freaking never took the phone. Man, that looks like a tornado for me, man. I swear. I have seen a tornado warning. There we go. What is Imagine a tornado come through. It's hard to like that. Very windy. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day today. I'm doing all right. How's everyone? Yeah, finally Scotiabank doing something. I was, I was assuming I was, like, I was pretty sure I was gonna have to friggin' uh, sue them and stuff in court. I don't know if I recently, well I talked about them a lot too on my channel, that game. That's a big reason probably why they actually did something this time. It's pretty fucking bad that you gotta, you gotta cause that kind of commotion just to get, uh, get the bank to actually take responsibility for something. Like the overdrafts and stuff, they're they're obviously not caused by me. I know I haven't given my card pin or my card alone to a sing, single person. And I remember apparently my mom had some overdraft of like thirty some dollars. And it said it was taken out from Florida. And they never friggin' fixed it either. It's friggin' nuts. Scotiabank's really gotta start taking responsibility for their actions if they wanna have any customers anymore. I suppose there's the people like me who it's just a uh, inconvenience to have to switch it and all that. It's not exactly like I've got money sitting in there. No, I don't need this. But if I was to do that, yeah, I would switch banks. Definitely wouldn't keep money in there. But it's crazy the day and never thought I'd see that happen. Where Scotiabank actually takes responsibility for something. It never did for the last time that happened. And funny, it was around the same freaking amount too. Thirty some dollars. It's been 30 Celsius all day. It's crazy. It's starting to get a little bit cooler. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy anyway. Never thought I'd see 
first event actually, like, I was not expecting them to actually do something. I was expecting them to try to lie and then say it's not friggin' to say it's just a bank fee or something, and I was expecting I was gonna have to sue them the whole bit. That would have been friggin' nuts. Frank, I should have friggin' uh, I I should have so friggin' friggin' uh I should have sued Scotia Bank the first time they did it. <laughs> they should have. <laughs> this time I definitely was going to if they didn't fix it. go oh yeah we made a mistake and overcharged you <laughs> I guarantee if I didn't cause all that freaking commotion and talking about them all the time on YouTube I guarantee that um, that would that answer would have been oh that's just the bank fees that's what he probably would have said to me if if I didn't cause so much shit for Scotia Bank probably would have tried to lie and say it's the bank fees I mean, actually something was done. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite shocking for me. I never thought I'd actually see them uh, take responsibility for anything. That was a not pretty crazy situation. But I'm glad it got settled quickly. No doubt lawsuit and all that would have took it would have takes a long time. But luckily they friggin' resolved it. After probably like four or five videos on that damn bank, they finally do something. Yeah, I, I love that about this camera. You can just uh, phone you to switch back and forth front and front camera and stuff. I definitely, yeah, I wasn't, I, I didn't have any video topic, uh, other video topic planned to do today, but <laughs> that happened today, so I thought I would talk about that. Because that's something I never thought I would see the day where I'd actually be saying that they fixed a, one of their mistakes. <laughs> After I basically had to metaphorically light a fire under their ass just to fucking uh, get my money back from them. Yeah, it's pretty nuts to begin with that you have to do, <laughs> you have to go that great far to friggin' actually get them to, to do their job. <laughs> Or, or do their job without scamming you. Whatever you want to call it. Maybe their job is scamming people. I would not be... I would not doubt it one bit. <laughs> At this point. I would not doubt it one bit at all that Scotiabank's probably... Uh, probably 
getting their employees deliberately to scam customers. Maybe. They're getting pretty desperate. Like, or, they, like when I went with the government check and they holded it. <laughs> like, that's not supposed to happen at any bank. At all. Like, not at all. That's what makes no sense. <laughs> You're never supposed to hold a government check. There's absolutely no reason for them to put it on hold. And straight up, just them. Uh, it was probably a scheme for pulling because probably because no one's keeping their money in the damn banks. So. They probably started uh, holding checks that they're not supposed to hold just to, so they can have the money in for a few days so they can make something. <laughs> yeah, not a good sign. And, well, hey, they shouldn't have printed and get all that money printing, right? No wonder people don't want to freaking keep the money in the bank. They could literally just take all your savings at any given moment. They're not going to warn you, that's for sure. <laughs> do you think they're going to warn you before that's that ha before they do that to you? You're in the delusion world. They're not going to warn you. That It's never happened once in history. It's not going to happen now. No country that was about to go on a bank shutdown ever warned anybody that it was going to happen. They're just told when it happens. And they're allowed to recover some of their money. Basically, they, they'll tell them, oh yeah, the withdrawal's limit is, is lower to, say, $10 or $30 a day. And, and we're shutting down in 30 days. So you'll have 30 days till it shuts down and you're only able to cash like 30, 10, 30 dollars or 10 dollars around each day. That's how they do it. You don't get no warning. You gotta look out with your own eyes and try to spot the signs that, that a bank shutdown's coming. You aren't gonna get no warning. Your warning is going to be, oh, your savings is gone. We're shutting down. No warning. <laughs> so definitely, with, like, even American Bank, I'm not sure if an American bank is completely safe either. They did the same thing with the money printing. Yeah, it looks like there's probably going to be a rainstorm or something. But, yeah, anyway, guys and gals... Yeah, I thought I would t talk about that because definitely never thought that would happen. I thought I would share that with you guys and gals. So, anyway, guys and gals, hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, merch, and all that's in the description below. Till next time, it's the Angel Couture, and I'm peacing out.